I have deep grief over something, if I don't do something about that grief, I'm going to stay in that grief. This is a belief, and people act out of that belief. So stop, try to do something to stop it or to change it. So belief, <coughs> so belief means what he or so for somebody is having grief. So where the grief, where the belief comes? The feeling might be if I don't do something about this, if I gotta get rid of this grief, I've gotta do something about her. I've been in grief for, for five years. Or I'm, I can't or if I'm in this grief like this, I won't be able to to do my job appropriately. So that is practical difficulties. When we have some uh, our mind is not quite okay, it will disturb the outer outer action also. But here so what we have to do here, or we have to get all these things are the normally the average person will have the problem like this. So now here, what is the role of our understanding? So what the intellect has to do? So in the, because we have tried in many ways, we have tried in many ways to control ourselves through meditation, through some some other practice or anything. For the time being, we may be we have some control. We may have some. Control. But it will not be a permanent solution. But when we give total freedom, then with that, when we think the intellect has no power to deal with the emotional part, then we will not do. Uh, but in spite of your understanding, you may do against yourself, against your emotion, let it be unconscious. But you consciously, if you have some understanding, though no work is needed for the intellect. And if you are sure of your understanding, uh, the understanding will help. The understanding will, uh, it will be in action in course of time. But we need not worry about the uh, unconscious struggling with yourself. So the struggle also, so if I have an emotion comes up, a strong emotion comes up, and I immediately, because it's a painful emotion, I resist it. I don't want it. That resistance is also natural. natural. So both I allow. I allow the sorrow or the initial feeling mm -hmm. and the resistance against it both to exist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my role, my role, yeah. well, my question then is, is, who is this my? Who is this I that's deciding that I'm going to allow both? So that is uh, in our scriptures, it is called the buddhi, buddhi, buddhi or intellect. So the intellect is the... Uh, so is that also like a witness? Is that no, also no, no. It is also part of our mind, just like the other... Uh, uh, wandering mind, the, the intellect is also a kind of mind, it is a part of mind. Uh, but at the same time, we have to give some weight to that, because it decided, because it, it, it uh, determined like this, it's come to a conclusion, some conclusive mind. So we think and can control, but it is this, I won't uh, doubt it more, I will inquire more, and we decide like this. So you come to a decision. So the will. Uh, you are putting any comma or anything, we put it as a full stop for the decision. So if you right. think like that, and uh, that will work. But in spite of the decision, uh, some happening, some struggle within yourself, so that it will be in the unconscious way. But you don't mind that. So consciously, because we are, we are understood, we have no work there, so consciously we put the full stop. And when we put the first stop, we will not uh, change it as a comma. <laughs> we put the first stop. And it will work. It will work. So the main thing is that we have no work in this psychological world. So that is the understanding. So we have some work externally, but we have no work psychologically. So this is the understanding, this is the conclusion. Uh, so the conclusion that we have no work. So whenever we have no work, you know, you find we have no work. Some work is going on inside my psychological structure, then we should not claim I am the cause for the struggle. So when you stop uh, struggling, when you, when you come to a conclusion, no work is there, then you are not responsible for anything happens in your psychological structure. So you have to put them in the natural way. So no work is, uh, we should not take any responsibility for the happening. So here our, our role is to find out and come to a conclusion and to put a full stop there. So no work is there. I have no work. So you have to simply withdraw from all work.
So afterwards, somewhat may be there. Let it be there in their own way. So afterwards, our work started if it is related to the external world. So the external world alone, we have to take some work. But uh, psychologically, no work is needed. But the main thing is that uh, there is nothing, but there may be something in the external world. There must, some correction is necessary, some change is necessary, some modification is necessary. Something is necessary in the external world. But psychological world, uh, nothing is needed. So if you uh, if you want something in the psychological world, then we we change our idea that we uh, and we remove the first stop and to put some comma and we try to do something here. So we have to find out nothing is there in the psychological world. So if you expect anything in the psychological world, we and we uh, we once again we take the role of doing something. So we have to understand. Uh, no role is, is there, no role is needed in the psychological world. For ourselves we have no role, we have no, uh, no, there is no identity for ourselves to do anything. Swami, just following that, we have got just to be clear. Um, you have an emotion like sorrow, anger, you have a reaction to that, that's natural, mm -hmm. it's an unconscious reaction. And the thing that is aware of this is also an expression. Mm -hmm. And I, I cannot change any of them. They're all just happening. Mm -hmm. Is that right? It's all happening. So if some awareness is there, the awareness is related to the, the intellect. The intellect alone uh, takes the role of aware, uh, aware of something, attentive of something, conscious of something. That's the role of the intellect. The intellect uh, need not aware of anything, need not have conscious of anything. Uh, so, no work is needed. Then you need not uh, look at the matter. Because you, the intellect itself has no business there. So the intellect itself has to go along with the natural happening. So you should not, the intellect should not uh, uh, take a role, take a stand. So it has no higher status <clears throat> to the sorrow or the reaction to the sorrow. It's just another thing. So, happening. so when whatever may, so we have to take everything is one. The sorrow and uh, happiness is one. <clears throat> Fear and peace of mind is one. Then only you have to give away your mind. So if you say, if you think some good thing alone must be there, bad thing should not be there, then you enter into the struggle, you enter into the scene. Mm -hmm. So then when we take some role, take some, uh, uh, some necessary thing to act, so when we give total, uh, we, we take everything as a whole, everything as one, then we don't find any role. We don't find any necessity to act. So we have to put down everything as a whole, total. We should not take anything, uh, this must be like that, this must not be like that. Uh, sorrow is bad, happiness is good, we should not think like that. So if we think like that, we will select something. But if you, if you select, let it be in the natural, let it be unconscious. Uh, the, for unconscious happening, we are not, we are not, uh, no, we are not going to be blamed. So, so when when an emotion arises, and the, and then there's a, a a resistance to that emotion, even that resistance, if it's gone that far that the resistance comes. But even the resistance, we should not take any responsibility for that resistance? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because uh, let it be in the natural way. Right. Okay. So we should, we, it is not our conscious resistance. Right. Is there not, to again, follow from what he's saying? I'm sorry, you're, you're That's doing, good. <laughs> 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 but is, uh, <coughs> an emotion comes, mm. I resist that emotion. Mm. The emotion is, or that feeling is saying, act, do this. I'm watching the resistance come up to it. 
There is also a part of me that's saying, should I, shouldn't I? No, I shouldn't. Let's not stop. Let's decide. Let's not make a. We will not act. Is that not happening? Look, all of this. Is that not happening in a bigger framework? Mm -hmm. Is that not happening? Well, I think that's the point you're making. Yeah. There is a resistance. There is a sorrow. There's a resistance to the sorrow. There's a some part of you that's saying, should I act? No, I should not act. Let it be. Okay, fine. Let the, allow this. I allow the emotion. I allow <coughs> this natural flow. Is that not suggesting or inferring that there is a larger me, a higher me, that is allowing both intellect as well as the to play? Is there not a larger picture emerging from this? Is there not an inference that there is a screen on which all of these are playing? So we can infer like this, but we should not expect, we should not use our intellect to have this kind of inference. Uh -huh. uh, so here, the, the main thing is that we we put down the role, put down the status of ourselves, put down the status of the intellect, not to interfere, mm -hmm. interfere in the happenings. But it, it can take, if it is necessary, so we can make use of some emotion to the external world. But for uh, psychologically, uh, but we are not uh, doing anything. For example, if we <coughs> have some sorrow, Naturally, we must be free, we have intention to be free from sorrow. If we have some uh, fear, we naturally will have the intention to be free from fear. So let it be natural. So if you, if you consciously, I must be, I must be free from that. Uh, I, I must keep myself without any fear. I must keep myself without the sorrow. Then, That's we, are, the then we are deliberately doing something. Here we are understanding no work is there. So here the main thing is that, we should we find ourselves without any work. That is the thing. That's a happy place to be. <laughs> <laughs> We're wanting that all always happy. <laughs> so can I just check my if my understanding is correct in referring to what Ramesh was saying? The anger arises, if you see something out there, he has anger, he has an impulse to act. Mm -hmm. Even if he follows that, impu that impulse and acts... Uh, impulse, act, impulse of external world? Yes, oh. including the external If he acts even externally... Yes, sir. If he's <laughs> acted out of an, an unconscious impulse to act, then he's still ultimately he's still innocent because he's acted out of his unconscious. I'm thinking of a situation where recently where I've done that, I've made an act and then I've seen that I was acting out of my unconscious. I've not blamed myself because I couldn't stop myself. It happened so quickly. It didn't happen consciously, it happened unconsciously. Then I have to take steps in the outside world and say, I'm sorry, I've made a mistake. But internally, I don't judge myself or give myself a hard time because I know that it was, it was out of my unconscious, it was innocent. Is uh, that? I have already also told uh, some analogy. For example, this is a glassware. Mm. Very beautiful and some, uh, some, uh, it is uh, some high, uh, some costly, costly glassware. And you keep the glassware in your tray like this. And your child, mm. uh, during uh, his play, pulled down and broken. And immediately you got angry. Mm. So in his anger you give a blow to him. So immediately you express your anger in action, in the external. Yeah. So in this same way, some close relative uh, come to your house with their uh, small boy. That boy also did the same thing. But whenever you saw the thing, you have the, some, the same anger you got. Mm -hmm. But will you go that boy away? So, so in the anger, the emotion will not transfer into action immediately. So before it turns into action, in between both, our intellect is there. 
The internet uh, without the uh, you cannot uh, go without the uh, you cannot take jump against the uh, intellect. You have to go through the intellect. Right. So then only all of action it goes through the intellect and you the intellect will scream. We will filter. So here <coughs> when you hear the inter when you are it is it is in the case of your son, your boy, your intellect give you the concern. You take the anger in your hand. You, you, the intellect permits you to take the anger in your hand and uh, have some expression. So you freely express your anger externally. But uh, the intellect did not permit you to express the anger to the other side. So the uh, all actions are uh, safeguarded by our intellect. So we need not worry about the uh, the emotion taken into action. So here our. Uh, so the external world is concerned, our intellect can be, can safeguard yourself, you safeguard you. But, but the intellect has, cannot safeguard yourself. The, you cannot safeguard that, you cannot be free from anger. So without the safeguard, anger will come. You may decide, no, no, I will, I will never get anger, I will never get fear. You may think like that, you may decide like that. But in spite of your decision, anger may come, fear may come, sorrow may come. Yeah. <laughs> your emotion will not uh, you, you, heed your words. But the action, the, the action is uh, guarded by our intellect. Then we can use our intellect for the action. If it is necessary, you will take the emotion. If it is not necessary, you do not take the emotion. Thank you. So it's, again, to extend on Narayana's thing, if I take uh, <coughs> Some actions become impossible to resist in certain situations. Some actions become impossible to resist. We discussed this the last time about addiction, for example, or uh, you know, abuse of alcohol. So addiction is a special case uh, that we have to discuss later. Okay. Uh, the other thing we may yeah. come on. Because I had a question similar to that, that where, we, where a person just can't help. Let's say two people are talking and then one person says something and the other person just immediately feels anger, picks up something, bang! Mm -hmm. And there, and there's, there's no, it seems that there's no room for the intellect But there. here also, the intellect uh, give consent to the anger. The, unless you, the intellect give consent to the anger, the anger will not uh, be expressed in externally. Mm -hmm. So you have to, if you watch, you, your intellect must have give some consent to the action. Mm -hmm. Then only the action will be there. If I would explore that further, if, does it change? Does the nature of the reaction change? If I give permission to the emotion, the primary emotion, I allow that primary emotion to run. So I get anger, for example, and I'm not, I'm not, I am now allowing it to, to express itself internally. No action, action outside. I, once I take that decision that I'm allowing you to do, you go ahead. I'm not, does that change or influence what ordinarily would have been a guy who picks up and hits, does the fact that he is now saying, okay, you go ahead, does that change his reaction? Am I, what I'm saying is, if, you, if there's an individual X, who normally would have done what he said, which is he reacts, he gets, you say something to me, somebody says something to me, I get angry, and I hit him. And then this individual says, okay, I'm not going to resist my anger. I'm, I'm aware of it, let it flood me. I'm not going to fight it. Does the act of his allowing, does that influence his reaction? Does that, the very fact that it does it, does it change him as a person in his, in his external world? So does it influence him? Is there any influence upon the other person? On the other side, no, on the, other, on the reaction, on his own reaction. So here, we cannot expect a change from the external things. So in course of time, they... No, his own reaction, I'm saying. But here, uh, for we are concerned with our, our reaction alone. Yeah. So what will happen? For example, if you give total freedom to your happening, that means naturally it has to undergo change. Because if you do not put your hand, so when you do not put your hand in the psychological structure, naturally it has to, it has to change. Because moment by moment, change is there. Mm -hmm. uh, we cannot stop changing. <laughs> changing. It is changing, changing, changing. Changing alone is there. So, we did not encourage changing. It is already in change. The changing is going on. 
we need not do anything for our children. So whenever we, whatever we can do, we can interfere with change. We cannot encourage the change. If you do not interfere, we do not put our hand, the change will be going un, un, undisturbed. <coughs> Swamiji, um, I'm still not quite clear. So the question is turned. Um, There is emotion and unconscious reaction, and then I am aware of this battle inside, or these things arising. Has my intellect, that is aware of this, has it got free will, or is my intellect also like the sorrow? It's just coming from the subconscious mind, and I have this belief that my intellect is able to just let go of it or not get involved or get involved consciously. Have I, do I have an illusion that my intellect actually has choice? So here, the, the, we are having some feeling of some awareness that there was some battle is going on, something is going on, we are aware of the battle. So, this is the role of our intellect. So the intellect alone uh, uh, takes the role of aware anything, conscious of something, conscious of the struggle within ourselves. All this is are the role of the intellect. So the intellect, even though it may take the role, it, it, uh, it has to understand it is uh, powerless, it is not useful. Uh, um, but if it, is, if, it has, if it feels it has some power, uh, and really they have some power, it has true, but it is really powerless. So it is meaningless to have some thinking that it is powerful to settle all right. So here uh, the, the intellect it has, it has some power, it has the will to do something, it has the free will to do anything. So this is a wrong idea. So we have to understand that all these things are wrong idea and we are really powerless to deal with ourselves. That is the correct understanding. And we are powerless because? Because we cannot solve. Because we, we, cannot, uh, yeah, we, uh, we cannot solve anything, we cannot uh, <coughs> take the emotional part under our control. Um. But my mind is in the habit of thinking I can so make a difference well, in short term. So it works. So it is our habit. It is our habit of yeah. because, of we are, because we have done the same thing in the external world, mm. only with the help of our intellect would succeed that in many ways. Mm. But in the psychological world also, for example, if you do some meditation or some yogic practice, mm. for the time being you will be safe. Mm. You cannot be affected by any adverse feeling. Mm. You cannot be affected by the negative feeling. Mm. For the time being, you will be all right. Mm. So you have the you may have in your mind, oh, I can control myself. Mm. So as I control myself for one hour, I can control myself for 24 hours. Mm. So you can calculate like this. But uh, but you have to if you go on repeatedly doing like this, and one day or other you will understand. It is waste of energy to doing all those struggle within me. So in spite of that, if you put down everything, everything will be all right without your doing. But the main thing is that the psychological structure must be in a good condition, good state. But it will be, it will happen naturally happen if you put down your hands there. Is it right to say that the the intellect that is aware of this emotion and everything is just also part of the arising? It's just something temporary that comes up. Yeah, yeah. And the imagination is there that we see that as something permanent that polices or monitors every, everything else that's going on. That, whereas it's also part of the arising mm -hmm. of the emotion, the intellect or whatever else. Mm -hmm. Yes, the intellect is also temporary. Okay. It is coming just like uh, emotion, the intellect also yeah. coming like this. But even though if you come to a conclusion, the conclusion will sustain, the conclusion will be there. 
you you unless you uh, you will have some uh, another kind of logic another kind of your uh, thinking another kind of decision another kind of understanding to dismiss this kind of understanding the understanding will exist whenever you come to your consciousness the consciousness uh, it will be there for example uh, you you you, come, your, you know your name you need not uh, always uh, aware of your name but it is there whenever you have the chance to remind remind your name you will come to, it will come to you so it is registered if it, if you are doubt about your name the, that is different so if you are if you are sure about your name then the, even though you need not be aware of your name always um, this way if you understand that you know work is needed you need not always keep the decision in your mind so whenever it is necessary it will the decision will come to you Yeah. yeah, I mean, just to kind of clarify, so the thing that is aware of, the, of what's going on, is itself just part of the, uh, the total arising in that moment. <coughs> and the mistake that we make is that we think that that's the thing that can control everything else. But it, it, it has no control because itself is only a temporary manifestation. Mm. Is that right? No, no, so psychologically you have to yeah. come to a conclusion. So we cannot control, we cannot take our, we cannot control our mind within ourselves. So if you understand rightly, this understanding will give the total psychological structure into your liberty. Because when you do not put any hand, this must be like that, this must not be like that, then we when we regulating. When you do not regulate anything, that means we, we allow everything. What we're free. Yeah. What I think what he's asking, I think, is that the intellect also is emergent. Just as our emotions are emerging, yeah, yeah. the intellect also is emerging, emerging. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and playing its role Wrong. in that context and yeah. then disappearing also. Of course. Is that yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is also, also an emergent it's phenomenon. phenomenon. No, yeah, that, that is, uh, I am also saying, yeah, yeah. No, I it, is also saying that, it is also, yeah. it is also temporary. Even though it is temporary, the conclusion is not temporary. Yeah, yeah, we take it seriously, ah, like yeah. it's a policeman there that could control it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because you are, you are uh, even though you are, uh, the, your, your intellect is uh, coming uh, temporarily, uh, the, uh, the intellect has not forgotten your name. <laughs> so whenever the, the even though, the, because you have some idea about yeah, your yeah, name, yeah, yeah. so the idea is, it is permanent. The idea is permanent. But it's but like, so the intellect, I mean, I know without thinking about it, I go out and I get on my motorbike and I can drive it without thinking. Yeah, exactly. You know, and I come back up, you know, in, in yeah. England, I don't drive a motorbike, I drive a car. As soon as I get there, it's automatic. No. These things all happen. Yeah. And sometimes I've even realized that driving is actually automatic. You don't really need to be there thinking about thinking it all the time. Yeah. Exactly. But, but here, yes. we have to put the total psychological structure as an uh, automatic one. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a, yeah. Otherwise, we divide it ourselves yeah, yeah. into the controller and the controlled, and, and then it becomes a kind of knot yeah, yeah. that's very difficult. So, if I may uh, clarify again, you're saying that the intellect also is, tem is temporary, mm -hmm. but the conclusions are not temporary. Not temporary. This, so, we are saying let those conclusions go. We are not. We shouldn't hold on to those conclusions. Ah, yeah. That we are not holding on to any hold conclusions. On. But the thing is, like, come do its job and go. Oh, but, but when the conclusion is there, it will be there. Even though the temporary, uh, the uh, intellect comes and goes, the conclusion will be always there. But conclusion is also is a is a thought is a is a. Thought actually is a thought which uh, in which I am convinced. Conviction. This conclusion is conviction, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So it is also the thought, but has different character. Yeah. If, you use, if you use knowledge, I think you, the conclusion you have the knowledge. Knowing. Right? Knowing. Yeah. 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 The knowing. Oh, yes. Get away from mm -hmm. that concept, right? And just the recognition. Correct, yes, idea, correct idea, clear idea. Yeah, yeah. Clear, clear idea. idea. Yes. Flowing, flowing. Clarity, yes. The, 
the, I want to clarify this a little bit more with um, understanding and conviction because it's not so difficult to understand that what you are telling, what, what you are talking about. That and even that that this who reacts is a, is a not subject, it's object. It's the part of the flowing. And even though it is different, is looks like the full conviction here that it's not happening. You know what I mean? Uh, the, I understand so far that everything is is coming and going. The thoughts, feelings, feelings, and the reaction to feelings is also same. Is another side of the.